students in our last video we studied about the terminologies of algebra and these are few more terminologies today in this session also we will be studying some more terms which are used in algebra one is like term and unlike term in this video now see these are the pair of terms of an expression suppose we all know in an expression we have terms and suppose these two are the pair of terms of an expression now these are the list of pair of terms of an expression now suppose we want to find out whether this term and this term whether they are like term or unlike term we will have to undergo these process these steps the first step is to find out the factor of each term so let us find out the factor of each term of the algebraic expression now if i take the first term we all know what are factors 3 is one factor and x is another factor in this term in the same way we have 5 and y are the different factors of this term now let us see this uh, second question also we have 17 and y we have 19 and y here we have 3 comma p comma q comma q and here we have 5 comma p comma q comma p so these are the different factors now in this case we have minus 3 is one factor of 3 st as s is another factor and t is also the factor 7 in this second one we have 7 then we have t and we have s here we have 23 comma x comma y comma y and here we have minus 7 comma x comma x comma y we all know what is we have already studied in our previous video that x square or y square means multiplying y with itself two times we have found the factors of the two terms in each of them you can see here the factor is x 3 and x here the factor is minus 5 and y now our next step is to find out whether the algebraic factor of each one of them of both the terms are they same or different now here you can see the algebraic factor is x in the first term and algebraic factor in the second one is y we have to ignore these terms these factors because they are numeric factor now here you can see that algebraic factor of the first one is x and the algebraic factor of the second one is y so we can understand that they are different now come to the next one we can easily see both algebraic factor are y so they are same now come to the third one we see that the algebraic factors in the first one is 1p and 2q but in the second case we have 2p and 1q so obviously they are different in this one again we can easily see that in both the terms we have two factors and both of them are s and t s and t so obviously this is also same here in this case again we can see there is one x in the first one and two y but in the second term we have two x and one y so the algebraic factors are again different here now depending on the different types of factors depend uh, we have to decide whether it is like term or unlike term now if the two terms have same algebraic factor they are called like terms and if they have different algebraic factor they are called unlike term so we can easily decide here that in the first case 
it is unlike term. Second one, algebraic factor in both the terms are same. That means these two terms, minus 17y and 19y, both of them are like terms. Come to the third one. Here we have different algebraic factor. That means 3p q square. This term and this term, they are unlike terms. Come to the next one, minus 3st is one term, 70s is another term so, and we can see that algebraic factors in both of them are same. So, again, they are like terms. Come to the last one, we have these two terms, 23xy square and minus 7x square y. Since the algebraic factors are different, they are unlike terms. So children, I hope you have understood about like term and unlike term. Tanya, can you explain? Yes ma'am. Terms which have the same algebraic factors are called like terms. For example, PQR, RPQ, RQP, all have same factors which is P, Q and R. Terms which have different set of algebraic factors are called unlike terms. For example, PQR, ABR, PQT. Here in PQR, the factors are P, Q and R while in ABR, it is A, B and R which are both different. Now let us study two more terms that is one is coefficient another one is degree. So these are two more terms which we are going to study in this session. Now here I have given the expressions these are three expressions and we have to find out the numerical coefficient of these three expressions. Now this we have to understand numerical coefficient if we have to find out then you can see in the first expression we have two terms in this this is the first term and this is the second term and we have to understand that numerical coefficient means it will exist only on in the term which has which are not constant all right so we have to extract or find out the terms in this in every expression we will have to first find out the term which are not constant in a constant we don't have any coefficient numerical coefficient that itself it's a fixed value and it doesn't have a numerical coefficient but in a term which are not constant we have a numerical coefficient. So let us first find out the terms which are not constant in each one of them. Here again you can see this is one term and this is another term and you can see in the first one it is constant. The second one is minus y square. This is also a term which is not a constant. If you look at the third expression we find that there are three terms. All right, and out of them, these two terms are not constant. So we have 4p square q and the second is minus 3p q square. All right, so this is for the third one where we find out, we find that the constant term, we have two terms which are not constant. Now let us find out what is the coefficient of this one. The coefficient of the first one is numerical coefficient. Alright. So numerical value it means this is 1 into x into y. So coefficient, numerical coefficient will be in the first case it is 1. In the second case numerical coefficient is minus 1. In the third case, numerical, this is a term whose numerical coefficient is 4. And this is again a term whose numerical coefficient is 
minus 3. So this we have to understand that when we are asked to find out a numerical coefficient of, of an expression, if it is an expression, then we will have to find out the term which are not constant and from there we will have to find the numerical coefficient. Second type of question which you can get is, you can be directly asked what is the numerical coefficient of this. This is your first question. You can be asked what is the numerical coefficient of this. What is the numerical coefficient of 4p square q? And what is the numerical coefficient of minus 3p q square? Alright, so these are the different ways of questioning. So you have found children that how to find out the numerical coefficient of any term. Now here let us find out the answers of the questions which is asked in this table. In this table you have been asked to find out the coefficient of x. Now if we are asked to find the coefficient of x Obviously, you will be requiring a term which has factor x. Here you can see the algebraic expression and 4x is the term which is having the factor x. So, let us find, let us write down what is the term which is having x as factor. Now, if we have this term and we are asked to find out what is the coefficient of x, then we have to ignore x and the remaining part of this expression becomes the coefficient. So the answer is 4 in this case. Now we want to find out the coefficient of y. So obviously we will be requiring the term with the factor y. And here we can see this is the term with the factor y. So let us see the answer for this is minus 3y and we know how to find out the coefficient of y in this case. It will be ignore y and the remaining part will become the answer or the coefficient of y. So it is minus 3. Now the same thing we have to do for the rest of the question also. The second one is the algebraic expression is 8 plus xy. Now we want to find out the coefficient of x. That means we don't have anything in this. We don't have x in this term. But we have x in this term. So the answer for the term with factor x is xy. Now if I want to find out the coefficient of x then obviously x will be ignored and the remaining part of the algebraic expression becomes or this expression becomes y. Come to this part, we want to find out the coefficient of y. So obviously we need an expression out of this which has y. And here we can see this is the term which is having y. So what is the coefficient of y? We will ignore x, y and the remaining part of the algebraic uh, of the expression becomes the coefficient of y. If we look at the last question, we want the coefficient of x. So we want the term which is having factor x and we know this first term is having factor x. And here, uh, we want to find out the coefficient of x means ignore y x and the remaining part will become the coefficient of x. Let us see the coefficient of y. For this we want the term which is containing y and you can see this is the term which is containing y. That means the term with the factor y is p q y and the coefficient of y Obviously, we will ignore y and the remaining part of the expression or the term becomes the coefficient of y. Now, our last topic that is degree. That also we have to study and let us see what is degree. 
x y is one term and x y is one term 4 is another term now x y we know what is the power of x x is multiplied only once power of x is 1 and power of y is also 1 so total degree of this term becomes 2 and degree of this term is nothing all right we don't have any variable here so what is the degree of this whole expression the degree of degree of x y plus 4 of the expression x y plus 4 is 2. Now if I take the second question 13 minus y square so the degree here is 0 and the degree in this case is 2. You can see y into y. Alright. So y power is 2. So the degree overall the degree of the expression becomes 2. Now let me take one more example. Here we have 4p square. Suppose I am changing a bit. Here it is this 3p cube square plus 5p cube. Now suppose I have this example. So in each term we will have to find out what is the degree of each term. In the first one you can see we have 2 plus 2. So P into P into Q into Q. So degree is 4 in the first case. Here the degree, this is the degree of this term. Second one we have 1 plus 2, the degree is 3. Here we have 1 plus 1, the degree is 2. But that means in, and in this algebraic expression we have 3 terms and all the 3 terms are having different degrees. So what is the degree of, of the expression and the expression this? This expression, what is the degree of this complete expression? The degree will be the highest power, highest degree. If you find out the degree of each term, whichever is the highest becomes the degree of the whole expression. So degree of the expression is 4, which is the highest one. Now Tanya, explain coefficient. Yes ma'am. The coefficient is the numerical factor in the term. For example, in algebraic expression 4xyz, 4 is the numeric coefficient. Sometimes any one factor in a term is called coefficient of the remaining part of the term. In the above example, y is the coefficient of the remaining part that is 4xz. So students, here is a quick revision for you all. Solve it. You can even try it online. The link is provided in the description. So children, this is the solution of the crossword puzzle 1 which was asked in the previous video.